Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, <laughs> whoops. So today is a um, little project share from Scrap Diva Designs. Um, this is Erica's website, scrapdivadesigns.com. And this is all of her social media. So make sure you're following her and um, following the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs because there's tons of inspiration there. So let me share with you what I made. So today I'm sharing a project that I made using the Leaf mini album. So it has the three different layers of leaves and it comes with three words also, welcome fall colors. And they also have the shadow, okay. And then I also used this die set. I haven't got this on a thing yet. It's called Ruffle Border set so I used that one and then I also used this set this is the keychain number two I also use this on it and this one which is the fringe style flowers and a little bit of this one <laughs> which is the door mini album this is a big one a bunch of different pieces with it and then I also used the Hey There Pumpkin, um, the small um, word set. And sorry, you guys, my bird is being loud. It seems like every time he hears talking or noise, he has to start up too. So sorry about that. Um, so anyway, that's the die sets that I used on this. I think I have everything listed. Um, I think I have everything that I have included here. So let me show you what I made. So I went ahead and made a little mini album out of it. I think it turned out so, so pretty. Um, I'm using the um, Harvest Market collection from Simple Stories from, let's see, what year is that from? It's a year or two old. Um, let's see if I can find a, a date on it. 2022, so it's only a year old. I guess from last year but it's a really pretty collection I love it because even though I love fall colors like to go out and look, you know look at all the leaves changing I love that and fall is my favorite season still when I craft I don't like to craft with yellow orange brown <laughs> um, so I love this set because it does have orange um, but it's got some kind of um, Oh, I don't even know what you would call that. Maybe, maybe a really dark pink. Um, I'm not sure, but it's got and it's got this turquoise, which I love. Um, so and like, like the peach, I like peach a lot better than orange. About the only time I use orange is, you know, for um, for Halloween. So anyway, this is my album. So this is the leaf mini album. So let me show you real quick. what I used on it. <clears throat> so it has the, sorry for all the crinkling. Okay, so it has um, three pieces for the, you know, for the base. So here's the biggest piece. This is your base layer, okay? So this is my layer here. That's this right here, this kind of peachy color, more kind of a plain one. Okay, and then on this page right here, I used this next size, which is a stitched layer here. So this is my other color right here. Okay, and then it also has um, this one also that's stitched. So if you notice the difference, this one is just has a little thin stem right here. And this, um, this piece can fit inside here also. And it's, you know, kind of a lot more, you know, um, detailed. Okay. So I used all three of those. I'll, sh I'll, sh I'll point out what I, you know, what I did wear. And then I also um, used some of the um, words that came with it, the welcome fall colors. Okay. The other thing that I did on the front of this um, is I used this really fun ruffle border set okay so you got you get four different 
one. So here's this one, which is the widest, okay? And this also has little slots right here that you could weave in and out um, um, some ribbon. I remember <laughs> years and years ago um, making a border with ribbon and having a, we had a little punch that was like this. That you'd punch like it was two little slots it would punch so you could feed ribbon in and out <laughs> so anyway here this is already all got your so you'd have your ruffles on each edge and it looks you know has all this embossing here so it kind of looks like paper ruffle paper and then you could thread your um your um ribbon through there you could also do it with paper probably if you're real careful so anyway that comes with that one and then this next one biggest one and this is the smallest one and this is the one I used on this project just kind of the the next up from the smallest okay so what I did I took a blank piece of paper just a um it's just a pink background paper and what I did was I cut out <laughs> this is kind of a it wasn't hard, it was just a little bit of time consuming because I used my, that die and I cut out ruffle after ruffle after ruffle after ruffle, all, all different colors, just the coordinating colors from the, I mean, all the pattern papers from the collection. And I just, um, I started at the bottom, of course, and then layered up top, okay? And I just put a bead of glue on like the bottom part, okay? So that, so these, these parts here, you can see, they're still kind of loose because I wasn't sure if I wanted to ruffle them or not. Okay, so then once I got it big enough for my die, then I took my leaf die and I cut out the leaf. Isn't that cute? So I say this because you never know, I might, my, I have a pretty good sized piece right here. I might cut something else out of it <laughs> with it, so I saved it. Plus to show you guys, um, you know how I did it. So that is um, this base piece. I have um, some sh that shiny uh, holographic paper from Cricut. I have this, I have one little strip of this, which is kind of like the, that confetti tube um, paper that I had, that specialty paper. So I put one strip of that in there. Um, okay, so I have some ephemera pieces and stickers and chipboard down here from the collection and one of the little brads. This, these little pieces here, I knew I would use those all the time. They are from this set here the door mini album it was these two pieces right here that i used there if you notice there there's six of these and there's two of each one so this is this kind of just plain you know oval type shape this one here these two right here have kind of a more of like a rounded square edge and then this one here looks like a, a total like oval so it looks kind of like more like it might be a berry or something so there's like two of each of three different ones on that Okay, so I used that from that set to do those little pieces there for the sprigs. Okay, and then here's my fall colors. So fall and colors and welcome, those three words come with the set. So I um, uh, cut them out and layered on foam. I used black because I have a little hint of black a couple places, which I love to do. Um, even my bow back here, the back side of it is black, black and white. So then this bow up here, this bow I used from this set, which is the keychain number two. I love this bow. It's kind of like a, you can't see it super well on this, but um, the more plainer paper you have, probably the more it's going to show. But it's kind of like a ruffled, zigzaggy type edge on both those pieces. I love that. So I use that on there. So that's the bow. Okay, um, this one I didn't stitch because it was so thick. Um, yeah. Um, I put a, I use my crocodile, put a eyelet up here, and then just use one um, binder ring up here. I wasn't sure how I wanted to mount it. So what I planned on doing was having it more to, um, you know, kind of like swing to the side than to flip just because I don't know how much pressure that'll put. Sorry guys, he's being so noisy. Um, so anyway, that's the one side. And then if you swing it, this, this side I just left plain. Okay, now here's my, my next page. Okay, so now this one, <clears throat> what I used was so I used my base piece, this biggest piece, and then I used uh, let's see, was it this one? Yes. So then I used this leaf right here. This is the smallest one. 
but it's also the most like detailed on the leaves okay so i cut that out and layered it on top of that bigger base piece and then i um oops then i um uh just stitched i was not going to try and stitch that because i'm not the greatest with my eyes and stuff <laughs> So I just kind of stitched down the center and then I kind of just stitched a line out to each end of the leaf, just like it was the veins of the leaf. Um, I did that in orange. Okay, so I um, also used this little piece right here. It's a little envelope from the keychain die set number two. So I used that to make this cute little envelope. It has a layering piece, which I layered up there. And then this is one of the flowers from the fr fr fringe flower set. Oh, I know why that was there. I was thinking that fell out from somewhere, but I did have those like stuck down in there. These little things stuck down in here to show you that it was a, it was like a little pocket. So I just kind of cut out some more of the words and stuck them down in the pocket. Okay. And this, you know, it's um, folded a couple times, so it can actually has room to put quite a bit back there. Okay. So that's that. And then the back side. This side I didn't stitch, um, and this side I used the same, let's see, did I use the same detail piece? I think I did. So I used the uh, base that's not stitched, and then, then I used this other piece that's the uh, most detailed. And then I here's my Hey There Pumpkin, um, and I have it up on foam. This is so cute. I love that. I'm gonna do another video and show you guys what else you can, what all you can do with this word <coughs> set. So, okay, so there's my next page. And then my last page I used, um, I didn't use the base layer this time. I used this, the first layering piece and then the second layering piece. Okay. And um, again, I just kind of stitched, you know, down. And then um, here I used the word welcome and fall. Okay, so from this also is part of the set. So I have this paper on top of the orange, and then I have a layer of um, tulle behind, because back here, um, this is just my, you know, my end page. So I just put a piece of ephemera up on foam here, and then another one of the um, cute little flowers. So it's, this isn't highly decorated yet, because um, I wanted to wait and see what, if I was gonna put some pictures in it, or, you know, what I was gonna do with it, so. Anyway, that's how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute. Um, so anyway, that's the main thing I wanted to share with you guys on this was, you know, how to, how you could do this and another way to use that border set. So yeah, I have a bunch of pieces left over here. I just kind of took them and these haven't been trimmed down because I made them thinner so they wouldn't be so much bulk, but um, I just, and this is the bigger piece, but as you can see, I just, <clears throat> I just layered, put some um, glue back down there. So I layered it. Okay. So I guess it goes this way. And then I layered it. So I just barely that covered over and I layered it like that. So cute. And then layered it. So it gives it such a cute, you can do, you know, you just do a couple, a couple lines of it. You can vary the sizes of it. Um, I used all the same one, all the same size. So there's not a variation on the size there, but you could. So anyway, that is my share. Um, I did, all, oh, I meant to mention too, that some of these I took and kind of, you know, pulled up a little bit. So it gave it a little bit more dimension, just kind of, just kind of lifted up a few of the, you know, a few of the ruffle pieces. So, I don't know. What do you think? Love, love, love the colors on this. So, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of it. I hope this was, um, you know, maybe something unique that you might try on one of your projects. Um, using this ruffle order set. I think it turned out really fun. So yeah, let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will have the link to Erica's website 
I will have the link to my affiliate link if you decide to purchase anything. If I've inspired you today um, to do so, then um, go ahead and use my affiliate link. It will be um, down below. Also, um, be sure if you do purchase, make sure you use my coupon code POCA10. That'll save you 10% off on your order. And then I'll also have all the dies linked. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be back soon. Bye.